MPU on zone. Purpose will protect the data array thanks to MPU, then access this data with a GMA. And that we can work around the MPU protection. For the first step, we will start from the HL example that is delivered into G0 CubeMX firmware package and we will experiment it and try to understand how it's configured. In a second step, we will modify and we will add a DMA memory to memory to get access to this projected data. So let's switch to STM32 Cube IDEA. First, I will open my project. So I will open from a file system or will import it. It should be the same here from the directory. So I will select this one. So the STM32 cube firmware G0, the current version is 1.3.0. In the project, I will use a Nucleo G071. We've got in an example Cortex, Cortex underscore MPU, and I selected the SSS version, which will be converted. Here, I need to import this one. Just finish. Yes, I want the conversion to QBDO. And it was converted without problem. Let's first have a look in the readme.txt file. If you are not familiar with the example delivered with our CubeMX firmware, each example have a readme which describes exactly what you want to do. So here we want to generate the MPU memory full access when we access to a privileged read-only array. Okay, all the information will be in the stm 32 mpuc um, How to use it? We just need to compile and to run the example. So first, let's compile. When I preparing this uh, this MOOC, in fact, I discovered that there is an error in the file delivered. The linking script is not correct. So let's see what is not okay. The main will have a defined access permission to activate, I will say, the reconfiguration of the MPU. I shall in it. System clock config, quite useful. Then we've got the MPU config and the MPU access perf config. If we go to this definition, we are in the stm32 underscore mpu.c. So here would be a default configuration for our platform. So as you can see, the first region we define is a RAM region, 256 kilobytes, and it will be a read-write region. Then we configure the flash region, one megabyte read-write region, so without any restriction on execution. And then we configure the peripheral region, 512 megabytes read-write and execute never region. Okay, so I will say this is the normal MPU for the platform. Now we've got the access perm config. Here we will configure just the access for just one region. So what is this region? As you can see, it is in RAM. Here you've got the address, a resize, and we try to protect this array. Okay, so this array is defined also at the top of this file. Let's have a look. So the address of this array should be this one. And here we just talk about this read-only array section. So this section should be defined in the linker file. And if you look in it, you will see that it's missing. Okay, so I hope it will correct it quickly in the next version, but for the moment, please check in your code if it's available or not. And if it's not, I propose to do it by ourselves now. So first we will define the region of the RAM where we are interested in. Okay, so it's a 
memory array, origin, I put exactly the same address that in the code and the length will be 64. That's enough. And then we need to define the section. So I propose to do it at the end, just here, for example. In this section, I put everything that's coming from the row section in the memory array. So exactly the same warning than before. You should have exactly the same warning for this one and this one, okay? That way you are sure that the privilege read only array is located at this address, okay? So let's save it, let's compile it again, and let's check on our target. So now if I compile, compilation is okay, let's stay back and see if it works. So by default it should be okay. switch to debug. Okay, I've got an issue. Let's remove everything. Terminate and remove, and I will launch it again. Sorry about this. I will plug and plug my board. Then, debug again. Yes. Okay, this time initialization was okay. So what I propose, step by step, let's go in the MPU config. Here, the MPU is disabled first. Then we will configure, so to do some optimization, we've got some strange jump, but finally we will execute the configuration region zero, so for the RAM. Then for the flash, and then we've got the peripheral region. Then we enable MPU. So here the protection is now activated, okay? But we are still in privilege mode. We haven't switched from privilege mode to unprivileged. So here we can add some region or reconfigure the MPU. So here we will define a new region so we will disable first, we will configure a new region that will not erase the previous configuration because we have chose another uh, region. So the resize, so it can be read only if you are privileged. So this array should be, could be read, so here we should not have any error. That will be the case. And here what will we do? We will uncomment this write access and see if it's failed, okay? So here everything is okay, it's toggle and it's, it's working fine. So now I, pro I propose to uncomment this write access and let's see if it's failed. So here I just terminate and reload. It will ask me if I want to save my modification. It will recompile it. And debug it again. So here, MPU config. I will step in this one. Let's stop just on this access. Then read only for the moment is fully empty. If I try to write what happened, I've got a hard fault. Okay, so the MPU doesn't allow the core to do a right access to this region. So I would say basically we have seen this configuration of the MPU and what happened when there is some issue. So what I propose now is to add a GME 
and we will replace in this function, so it was there. What I propose is to write, we will write thanks to DMA to this array. Uh, let's see if we manage to do it. Okay, so for that, we will use kubemx to add the memory to memory DMA. So I launch kubemx and I will ask open project. So let's take directly the path. IOC should be available directly here. So if I open the IOC directly in my project, I will just need to add a GMA. So it would be a memory to memory one. I just add memory to memory. Nothing specific by byte. I will increment the address on the both side. Perfect, I would say. From the project point of view, we can do it. Crush, I would say, what is a, in our Kubemix firmware. And I generate. I won't do it. Now I come back in my code, and we should see up here now the GME that have been, I would say, added by Kubemix, modifying the main.c on the associated file needed. So here, it says it's have been already done by Kubemix. We've got the GME in it. You can see here really basic one channel. And now let's modify this. Here we will remove this. And I propose to use a GMA. So what I will do, let's try to modify. So I will put two, two data, for example, and for the value, let's see, one, two. Okay, now I want to do a shell DME. Start. Okay, uh, the source address would be my data array. The destination address would be the privileged one, which is protected. And I want to transfer to data, okay? Now what is missing is the HDMI uh, name, which is in the main.c. So at the top of the main.c file here, you've got the definition. Let's copy it. And in the top of the stm 32 mpuc we will just declare it as an extern just to have access to it. So, okay, and then I've got this name, I've got to copy it again, and put it there. Okay, so I think it's ready. Let's try to recompile this one and to download it. So I want to keep my modification. Okay, so I've got an issue. Mm, what is it? Mm, oh, I think I need to do some cast. No, just warning. Shield DMS third. Okay, so I need to do some cast to avoid some issue in 32 underscore type. I think the same for this one. OK. 
Okay. Let's build this first. Better. Still not good. And um, oh. Okay, I missed. It was addressing the structures. Sorry about this. Okay, this time it's okay. Let's debug it. Step by step, and I'm interested in this function. Okay, here we configure again our protection. Here I start my GME, I don't see any reset. And now, if I look in this array, you can see that we managed to transfer the two value. Though we managed to access this array, which is protected thanks to the MPU, this is due the DMA is not impacted by this protection. The MPU really to protect the core access. So just to fix you this ID, and it's important when you're using in the context of security, that means if we manage to inject some code that is over, is uh, capable to create a DME, we can work around this mechanism. But that's not mean it's a bad mechanism. It's a really, really interesting mechanism, can be used with a security OS and could be very efficient. Uh, we use it also in the SBSFU to add some level of security inside.